Okay, thank you very much. I'll stand up. You may stand or yes. walk, whatever you would like. No, no. <coughs> yeah, sorry. Mm, this is the story or, or how, as, as, as you said before, a crisis led us to uh, a paradigm shift. So, um, as you know, Catalonia, the Mediterranean area, is, um, we have a scarcity of water from matches. And uh, in this moment, we are uh, living a drought from, which is coming from three years without uh, normal rains. And, um, and, and that situation leads us to this map. This map is from May. In, in, in March began to rain, so in May and now we are more or less 30% of, of, of the water in our reservoirs. Uh, in February, at the end of February, we arrived to 14%. So in a very, very hard, hard moment, in that moment, all the, all the map was, was red. So we have uh, a very big crisis, and in that moment, we have to decide what to do. Just uh, a little uh, few words. In the metropolitan region, we, the demand of water is 400 uh, cubic hectometers per year. If we include the north of Catalonia, which is Girona, we arrive to 600 uh, cubic hectometers per year. The reservoirs, can have, in the best of the days, 600. So we have just one year of autonomy. And there are most of, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, uses as everywhere. And we now live in, and this is now by, by the public administration, a deficit in, in the system. Nowadays, 60 cubic hectometers per year. They say that in 2027, that is tomorrow, uh, 130 cubic hectometers per year, and in 15 years, 190 cubic hectometers per year. This is the deficit in, in nowadays is 20%, um, and it will arrive to 60% in, in a few years. And this is the first thing that I will say you. We cannot think things are done. Um, new situation, new regulation, um, climate change, of course, uh, oblige us to rethink the system, to reinforce the system, to be more um, accurate to the systems, because um, what we think that was done 20 years ago is not done now, and we have to invest and we have to develop the plans in order to assure uh, water supply in, in, our, in our regions. So in that moment, what we did, and this is the paradigm shift, in April 2021, just 3% of the water of the system was new resources or non-conventional resources um, water. Two years after, in April 2023, 60% of the water of the Barcelona metropolitan area was uh, non-conventional uh, resources. From this 60%, more or less one half was desalinization. We built a desalinization plant in the last crisis, uh, 15 years ago. We have never used it, just a little bit in order not to broke it very much. And from one day to another, we put it at 100%, and it is working 100% um, from two years and, and more. And the other half was reclaimed water using as prepotable water. That is that we have in the, in the, close, to the close to the sea a uh, wastewater treatment plant, what we call the Sobregat plant, um, which received more or less uh, 1.5, 1.8 cubic meters per second. We treat in a conventional way this water. Then we do an additional treatment um, in order to improve the quality. And we do two things with that water. And a very small part of that water, but very important for us, is uh, injected in a 
in our walls in order to do a barrier and avoid the salinization of the, of the groundwater, which we are also using. And most of the water is pumping eight kilometers upstream of our, waste with, waste, our drinking water treatment plant. So this is 1.5, 1.8 cubic meters per second. We pour to the river, we mix with the river. Believe me, we improve the quality of the river. And then, eight kilometers downstream, we collect all the water, half, more or less, half of them from, from reclaimed water, half of them with, um, from the river. <coughs> and we put our lives, and then we send to the houses. And we are doing so in a safe way, of course, hand in hand with the, with the health uh, authorities, which are very severe plan of, of control plan. Um, of course, uh, in an efficient way, it's cheaper than other other non-conventional um, resources. Taking a circular economy in water to the end, from uh, wastewater, we have a resource. And this <coughs> is working. And, this is, and, and it's not a matter of technology. We had the technology. I'm not going to speak about of, uh, technology. We have the knowledge. We have the experience. It's just a matter of governance and leadership of, in this case, of a politician. And also helps very much not having another alternative. This is <laughs> very useful always. The alternative was no water. <laughs> I believe that we have entered in a paradigm and we are not going back anymore, at least in the metropolitan area of, of Barcelona, because nowadays we have in this case, more or less 45, 50 uh, cubic hectometers per year in this 600 that we had more than we had in the past. So uh, the system is more resilient. And it's, it's in this case that working from I was Barcelona, from Akbar, with the, with the regional government, uh, we, we did a plan in order to include in the 27 structural plans or strategic plans of Catalonia for the um, next generation funds and, and, and so on. In this plan, we built a new resource a map of, of water for, for the Barcelona region, um, adding 150 cubic hectometers. Uh, and of that, uh, 60 cubic hectometers are reclaimed water. We put euros on that, of course. And this is, and this is what, when we do that, and, and this is the second thing that in Spain we need to do, which is execute our plans. We cannot do a lot of plans and then execute 15% of the plan after 10 years, because then things don't, doesn't work. But with, with, with this plan, in a draft moment like, like uh, nowadays, we don't need rain for providing water to our, to our uh, 6 million people in all, all the area. This is how we see the future. In this case, the future and the present touch, because um, necessity was so hard that we have to implement something that maybe we wanted to do a pilot or something like that, and there was no time uh, to do a pilot, but to implement um, in that moment. So, two big ideas. First, we cannot think that things are done. Things are not done, and each day, we are having new challenges. And second, we have to execute the plans. We have to analyze and at the end of the day, 
to execute what we have analyzed. If not, we have a draft, and then we will have not water in that moment. Thank you very much.